All right, we're back. The Apartment Academy live here at, Apart at, at Apartmentalize 2022. Uh, we dragged over Amy Weisberger. <laughs> Um, and uh, Amy um, is a works for an operator. You want to tell us a little about your company, Amy, and sure. you know where you guys are located and the properties you guys operate. Sure. Hi, I'm Amy Weisberger. I am the senior vice president of corporate strategy for Morgan Properties. We own and manage about 93,000 units in a 20 states, 350 some odd properties. We're the third largest in the United States. Yeah, congratulations. You guys yeah, have thanks. just skyrocketed in the last yeah, five years. Yeah, it's been quite a ride. Yeah. And how long have you been there? I've been there for 28 years. Wow, so you've seen the whole thing. I have. Yeah. I've seen it all from infancy on when I started. Did you start in the field? I did. I started out as a leasing consultant and then was a property manager. I was a regional manager. I have a, I have a long history. I used to be the head of training and now I oversee corporate strategy and lead up our innovation team. So uh, w a lot of the um, the innovations and a lot of the things that are happening really debut here at Apartmentalize. What are you what are you looking for here in this show? What are you scanning for? Yeah, so I'm always looking for what's next. What's going to make things more efficient, streamline operations, how to make everybody communicate better between different departments, how to make things better for the residents, how to make more money for the company. You know, it's just a few little things I look for. How to make more money for the company. Emphasis on how to make more money for the company. Well, that's always the bottom line, right? Yeah. The more but efficient care you get. residents. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to make any money if it weren't for our residents, right? So, um, let's talk about some of the challenges that you that Morgan has faced and what what how you solve them, what you're still trying to solve. Why don't you kind of lead us down that path? Sure. I mean, it it depends on the topic what we want to talk about. You know, COVID has been was top of everybody's minds for a while with um, and then they talk about the great resignation after yes. after COVID so you know I think I think from um, staffing perspective that's been a challenge with how do you do more with less and how do you take care of the residents and the property and get apartments ready and make sure that the curb appeal is there and work orders get completed and apartments get leased quickly with less people, less resources. Do you think we're resigned to that, Amy, at this point? Like we're just going to do more with less? Or is this going to turn around and we're going to get better recruiting or pay people more? Or is, I, I think everybody's trying to figure out what the secret sauce is. There's been a lot of talk with benefits and with, you know, pay and, and all of that. But I really think that we're going to have to learn how to become more efficient and that's where technology comes into play and that's really where i think you hear buzzwords like centralization of leasing teams and um, ai and all of these things that are buzzwords today that people are sort of dipping their toe into that's going to become the norm yeah is there any is there any uh ai efficiency technologies you've done more than dip your toe into that's been that, that you guys um, have adopted so far? You know, I think I think as far as AI goes, I, I'm not really sold on any one of the AI products yet that are out there. Yes. I think as it relates to giving a resident a faster response, knowing what they want, being able to answer their questions 24-7, and prospects too, that's where AI comes into play. We've been focusing more on the um, customer relationship management side with AI, trying to figure out how to, how to get that working. Um, but yeah, technology in general with different products that we've tried out from our maintenance teams, for our leasing teams, for our back office teams, that's, that's really where we're focusing on how to make things just easier, more streamlined and more efficient for everybody. When you say customer, you're focused right now on the customer relationship management side. What does that mean? Does that mean um, fielding maintenance requests in an automated fashion, or fielding leasing requests? What does that mean? It's all of the above, right? We have resident portals today, most companies do, where residents can go in and they can submit a work request if they have it or they can ask a question about their ledgers but it's more taking it to the next level of not having to wait for that response uh -huh. it's more of that self-service um, and making sure that somebody right away can respond somebody or well, something I, I don't think that a AI piece is going to be able to fix somebody's appliance right but We're making sure that Probably making, not, making but sure I, you that might the say. right person and maybe in a more centralized fashion is able to get dispatched to do that. Yeah. Uh, and and where is that where is that technology in terms of evolution? What is it lacking right now that that is still in your mind like well we're still trying it to see if it works. 
You know, from the leasing side, I think they're further along than they are on the maintenance side. Um, the maintenance side, what I'm seeing is trying to get compliance, trying to get training, trying to store documents, trying to handle work requests, trying to do production schedules, and putting it all into one spot is still a work in progress. I think it's coming along, but that's we don't really hire our maintenance teams to be technologically savvy. We hire them because we want them to be able to go out there and, and fix things, right? And to yeah. take care of the residents and the property. So it has to be easy for them to use and then it has to be easy for the rest of the team to follow up and see what's going on. And so keeping everybody on the same page is where I think we're still not quite there yet. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's one of the things about our industry that I've always said is very difficult, especially the size of Morgan. I mean, how can you possibly keep all of those different communities doing the same thing at the right time in the right way? Yeah, you know, it's 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 a big struggle. Always has been. Yeah, it's not so much that you have to do everything the same way all the time because we're not a one size fits all company. Properties operate differently, different demographics, different things. You know, rents do on the same day every month, right? Yeah. But how we go about um, following up and collecting and, and all of that, we can give technology and, and pieces to help, but but every property is going to operate just a little bit differently. Yes, but there was the Morgan, I remember the Morgan Way. The Morgan was, Way. Right? There is this idea, this concept, this archetype of there is a way to do things that fits the Morgan. Morgan Manners. Thing. We Mor have Morgan Manners. Oh, it's not the Morgan Way, it's no. Morgan Manners. I was close. Yeah, it's good. It's close enough. It means the same thing, right? How we treat our residents, how we treat each other, how we treat our vendors. There is a certain protocol that we expect from everybody. And, and it's part of, you know, Morgan is, has been around for a long time. It started with Mitchell Morgan in 1985. Now his two sons have come into the company. And even though we've gotten so big, Big. We're still a family company, and we try to remember that with everything that we do, that no matter if you are in Florida or you're in Pennsylvania or you're in Nebraska, you're still part of the whole Morgan team and family. So that's, that's how we try to keep things similar yet different. That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, they're... You know, to become the third largest over a course of some 40 years, somewhere mm -hmm. in that range, uh, is there something about the Morgan Manors, the Morgan Manor, or the way the company was founded, or your corporate culture that you think has led to the success of the company? I mean, you've been there over I've been, half, over I've been half there the a time. while. Yeah. yeah, I know, and I'm so young. Um, you know, I think that we always strive for what's next, and how can we be better as we get bigger? And we have two you know, next generation leaders who really are leading the charge for acquisition. We don't build, we only acquire. Uh -huh. And then, you know, our secret sauce is to figure out what we need to do to, usually it's an undervalued asset and how are we going to turn it around? How are we going to improve it? And how are we going to then keep it as a long-term hold? That's usually what we do. Um, and they, they've gotten really good at it. So, you know, but along the way, we know that technology, and that's one of the reasons why I have this position, is is going to be the competitive advantage for, and, and I think everybody's trying to find it, right? What is it? What's gonna, what's next? It is the thing about this industry that I've always loved is that you're, you're phrasing it as a competitive advantage, but it's not really that you beat the next guy. It's yeah. like, how do you, provide more profit for your owners than maybe the next guy. Because there's, but there's a very egalitarian attitude about this business. Like if you have a really good idea, you'll happily share it yeah, with somebody I will. else. Yeah. We do. But you know there is there is we're all sort of competing for the same residence, right? In in an area. So there is something to be said for yeah. what can we do that's going to make it easier, better living experience, provide more amenities, provide more services so that we capture that that person because apartments are apartments for the most part, especially in our class. And so what makes it different is the people and the, the experience that the person has when they come with us. Is is considering the amenities that you provided at, at the communities, is that part of your purview? So we have a whole facilities department that um, and an asset management department that really tries to take a look at what can we do amenity-wise. And that's usually part of the business plan when we buy a property. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, looking at different products, sometimes technology is the amenity that we offer, right? Uh -huh. From from internet to um, smart homes, like sometimes that becomes the amenity. Is there anything in particular you can speak to that you think is that you, that you can anticipate Morgan adopting on that front? Um, well, we are we are doing smart homes, uh -huh. and in a lot of our a lot of our properties, that's a big initiative for us, trying to make it easier for people um, to to sort of just have one control for everything that they're looking to do in their home. And we are looking at internet, making sure that people have what they need so that they people are working from home more than ever now, so they want connectivity. Um, you know, as far as other pieces of technology that we're, that we're looking at, we're always looking for ways to engage our residents and, and the way that they want to be engaged where they might not have to come into the office. And what, what does that look like? Um, there's different products out there that residents can use that are that allow them to communicate with us, that allow them to play games. Gamification is big. Earn points, earn rewards for doing different activities that are not necessarily coming in and attending a, an event in the office, but maybe it's a virtual event, and they can earn some some rewards for doing that that they can use in other ways. Got it. So, uh, so Amy, I want to let you get back to the show, but but given your position within such a prominent com company in multifamily and the fact that innovation is part of your um, responsibility, leave us with, leave the audience with five things they should be thinking about. I mean, three. Five. I'll make it three. I'll make it three. Three things they should be thinking about in terms of innovation, what's coming next in this in our business, what they should look for. I think that CRM is a big one and how we can assist our maintenance teams to get their jobs done and to onboard them and to um, be compliant in whatever they need is going to be a, another thing. And, and like I said before, that whole AI experience, both for the resident, the sales team, the maintenance teams, all of that is, is coming to the forefront. Great. All right. Well, Amy, I thank you thank for you. taking some of your precious time out to appreciate talk with it. us. Thanks really so much. Appreciate it. All right. We'll be back. Uh, with some more live feeds from Apartment Cat, Apartment Apartment Academy, and Apartmentalize 2022.